Steve Tracy, a gifted actor in television, left an unforgettable mark with his role as Percival Dalton in the cherished series Little House on the Prairie. Despite the ensemble cast, his portrayal of Percival left an enduring impact, garnering him widespread acclaim. However, amidst his success, tragedy struck as he became one of the first actors to be diagnosed with AIDS. His untimely demise shook the entertainment world, prompting discussions about the pressing need for research, treatment, and support for those battling HIV-AIDS. Join us as we delve into the sorrowful final chapter of Steve Tracy's life in this video, Little House on the Prairie, a beloved historical drama adapted from Laura Ingalls Wilder's iconic book series. Captivated audiences with its vivid portrayal of pioneer life in the American Midwest. At its heart was the Ingalls family, led by the resilient patriarch Charles Ingalls, portrayed by the talented Michael Landon. One of the notable additions to the show's later seasons was the character Percival Dalton, whose introduction brought a new dynamic to the series. As a love interest for the once villainous Nellie Olson, Percival's storyline added depth and intrigue to the narrative. Nellie, initially depicted as a spiteful antagonist and tormentor to Laura Ingalls, underwent a significant character transformation throughout the series. Her evolution, Steve Tracy, a gifted actor in television, left an unforgettable mark with his role as Percival Dalton in the cherished series Little House on the Prairie. Despite the ensemble cast, his portrayal of Percival left an enduring impact garnering him widespread acclaim. However, amidst his success, tragedy struck as he became one of the first actors to be diagnosed with AIDS. His untimely demise shook the entertainment world, prompting discussions about the pressing need for research, treatment, and support for those battling HIV. Behind the scenes, the camaraderie among the cast members extended beyond the confines of the set. Alison Arngrim, who portrayed the spirited and complex Nellie Olson, forged a genuine friendship with her co-star. This bond transcended their roles on the show, offering support and solace during challenging times. In a touching display of compassion, Alison lent her comfort to Steve, who battled against AIDS, highlighting the profound connections forged through their shared experiences on Little House on the Prairie. In the 1980s, the devastating impact of the AIDS epidemic reverberated throughout the entertainment industry, claiming the lives of talented individuals, including actor Steve Tracy, whose untimely death sent shockwaves through the television world. Steve Tracy was raised in a family of Irish-German descent. Tracy's upbringing instilled in him a strong work ethic and a deep-seated love for performance. His educational pursuits led him to Kent State University, where he honed his skills and laid the foundation for a career in acting. Following his time at Kent State, Tracy ventured westward to Los Angeles, a city teeming with aspiring artists and boundless opportunities. Immersing himself in the vibrant theater scene, he found a home in the theater department at Los Angeles City College, where he further refined his talents and nurtured his artistic expression. It was during these formative years that Tracy's passion for acting blossomed, fueling his desire to make a mark in the entertainment industry. In pursuit of his dreams, Tracy embraced every opportunity to sharpen his comedic timing and theatrical prowess. He found a creative outlet at the renowned Harvey Lembeck Comedy Workshop, an esteemed institution named in honor of the legendary comedic actor Harvey Lembeck, celebrated for his iconic role in The Phil Silver Show. Under the tutelage of seasoned professionals, Tracy flourished, honing his craft and cultivating a distinct style that would later captivate audiences on both stage and screen. After completing his studies at Kent State, Steve embarked on a transformative journey to Los Angeles, the epicenter of the entertainment industry. Immersing himself in the vibrant theater scene, he found a home in the theater department at Los Angeles City College, where he continued to refine his acting skills. Additionally, Steve sought opportunities to expand his repertoire by participating in the renowned Harvey Lembeck Comedy Workshop 
named after the legendary comedic actor Harvey Lembeck of the Phil Silver Show fame. The burgeoning actor's talent and dedication soon caught the attention of casting directors, paving the way for his entry into the world of film and television. In 1977, Steve landed his first feature film role in Heavy Equipment, marking a significant milestone in his burgeoning career. This initial foray into the realm of cinema was followed by a notable appearance in the 1979 Russ Meyer sexploitation film Beneath the Valley of the Ultra Vixens. Notably, this film was co-written by esteemed film critic Roger Ebert, adding an extra layer of intrigue to Steve's filmography. Amidst his burgeoning film career, Steve also made his mark on the small screen with appearances on popular television shows such as James at 15 and Quincy M.E. However, it was in 1980 that Steve's trajectory took a significant turn when he secured the recurring role of Percival Dalton on Little House on the Prairie. Portraying the kind-hearted and endearing Percival, Steve endeared himself to audiences and solidified his place in television history. Throughout his tenure on Little House on the Prairie, Steve's portrayal of Percival Dalton resonated with viewers, earning him widespread acclaim and recognition. His character's evolving relationship with Nellie Olson, played by Alison Arngrim, added depth and emotion to the beloved series, captivating audiences week after week. Little House on the Prairie had already captured the hearts of audiences with its captivating portrayal of pioneer life before Steve Tracy joined the cast to portray the character of Percival Dalton. Introduced as a love interest for one of the show's popular side characters, Nellie Olson, Percival brought a fresh dynamic to the beloved series. Nellie Olson, originally depicted as somewhat of a villainous presence in the early seasons, served as an antagonist to Laura Ingalls during their childhood years. However, as the characters matured, they forged an unlikely friendship, showcasing the show's nuanced exploration of character development. The evolution of Nellie from a spoiled and entitled girl to a more empathetic and multifaceted character was further underscored by her budding romance with Percival. Percival's arrival on the scene served to humanize Nellie's character in unexpected ways. Initially portrayed as a man hired to teach Nellie the ropes of managing a restaurant, Percival's presence challenges Nellie to confront her own shortcomings and embrace her newfound responsibilities. Despite her initial hesitations, Nellie gradually warmed to Percival's guidance, laying the groundwork for a deeper connection between the two characters. The narrative arc that brought Percival into Nellie's orbit not only propelled their burgeoning romance, but also provided a compelling exploration of personal growth and redemption. As Nellie navigated the challenges of running a restaurant under Percival's tutelage, she began to shed her previous persona as a spoiled and selfish individual, revealing layers of vulnerability and resilience beneath the surface. Percival's shorter stature compared to Nellie served as a source of amusement for the mischievous young woman, who often used it to mock him and undermine his authority. Nellie's penchant for teasing Percival about his height reflected her initial resistance to his presence and her desire to assert dominance in their interactions. Yet, beneath the surface of their banter lay a deeper dynamic waiting to unfold. As Percival endeavored to teach Nellie the ropes of managing her new restaurant, he faced the formidable challenge of earning her respect and trust. Despite Nellie's initial reluctance to heed his guidance, Percival's unwavering determination and integrity gradually began to chip away at her defenses. Through patience, perseverance, and a healthy dose of wit, Percival managed to establish himself as more than just a teacher to Nellie. He became a confidant and eventually, a love interest. The unexpected blossoming of romance between Percival and Nellie added an element of surprise and intrigue to their relationship. Nellie, who had initially viewed Percival with skepticism and disdain, found herself drawn to his steadfastness and kindness. However, 
Percival's initial reluctance to reciprocate her feelings created a poignant tension between them, underscoring the complexities of their burgeoning romance. Despite their initial hesitations and misunderstandings, Percival and Nellie eventually found common ground and learned to see past their differences. As they navigated the ups and downs of their relationship, they discovered shared values, mutual respect, and a deep emotional connection that transcended superficial appearances. The culmination of their love story with Marieg symbolized not only the union of two individuals, but also the triumph of understanding, acceptance, and forgiveness. By the series finale, Percival and Nellie had welcomed two beautiful children into their lives, Jennifer and Benjamin. The addition of their children, Jennifer and Benjamin, brought a new dimension to their family dynamic, enriching their lives with love, laughter, and boundless possibilities for the future. As devoted parents, Percival and Nellie embraced the joys and responsibilities of raising their children with unwavering dedication and unconditional love. The decision to relocate to New York marked a significant transition for the Dalton family as they embarked on a new adventure in the bustling metropolis. Percival's new role at his father's store offered him the opportunity to build upon his family's legacy while providing for his loved ones. Nellie, ever the supportive partner, embraced the change with optimism and enthusiasm, eager to explore new opportunities and forge new connections in their adopted hometown. Throughout their journey, the bond between Percival and Nellie remained steadfast and unbreakable. Actress Alison Arngrim, who portrayed Nellie with unparalleled wit and charm, shared a special friendship with Steve Tracy both on and off screen. Their camaraderie blossomed during their time filming Little House on the Prairie and endured long after the cameras stopped rolling. Their enduring friendship served as a testament to the profound connections forged through shared experiences and mutual respect. Tragically, Steve Tracy's untimely death cast a shadow over the cast and crew of Little House on the Prairie, leaving behind a legacy of talent, kindness, and friendship. Despite the passage of time, Alison Arngrim fondly remembered her dear friend, cherishing the memories they shared and the laughter they brought to each other's lives. In the poignant year leading up to his untimely death, Steve Tracy embarked on a profoundly moving journey as both an actor and an advocate in the face of the AIDS epidemic. Amidst his own battle with the disease, Steve found solace and purpose in a groundbreaking theater piece titled AIDS Us, Portraits in Personal Courage. Set in Los Angeles, AIDS Us, Portraits in Personal Courage served as a platform for real-life AIDS victims to share their stories with audiences, offering a raw and unfiltered glimpse into the human experience of living with the illness. Steve, himself a victim of AIDS, embraced the opportunity to participate in the production, lending his voice and his experiences to the collective narrative of resilience and courage. Despite being one of the few professional actors in the production, Steve stood shoulder to shoulder with individuals whose lives had been profoundly impacted by AIDS. Their shared stories of struggle, hope, and determination illuminated the stage, providing a powerful testament to the strength of the human spirit in the face of adversity. Tragically, the production of AIDS' Portraits in Personal Courage was cut short in August of 1986, following the death of one of its cast members and the declining health of two others, including Steve. Despite his own deteriorating condition, Steve remained steadfast in his commitment to raising awareness and advocating for those affected by AIDS. In his final months, Steve poured himself into efforts to overcome the disease that had ravaged his body, participating in experimental trials aimed at advancing medical knowledge and potentially finding a cure. His selflessness and determination to make a difference in the fight against AIDS exemplified his unwavering courage and resilience in the face of adversity. Despite the hopes and prayers of many, including Stevie himself, 
the experimental trials ultimately proved unsuccessful in extending his life. In November of the same year, Steve Tracy passed away, leaving behind a legacy of talent, compassion, and unwavering advocacy. According to the report, despite his suspicions that he might be suffering from the newly discovered illness known as AIDS, the lack of understanding and awareness surrounding the disease made it difficult for Steve to find accurate medical guidance. As his health continued to deteriorate, Steve embarked on a desperate search for answers, seeking out doctors who could shed light on his mysterious symptoms. However, the nascent state of AIDS research and diagnosis presented a formidable obstacle, leaving Steve frustrated and uncertain about his future. It wasn't until he found a doctor who possessed the expertise and knowledge to accurately diagnose his condition that Steve's fears were confirmed. The revelation that he was suffering from AIDS came as little surprise to Steve, who had braced himself for the possibility amidst his declining health. In the face of his diagnosis, Steve grappled with a range of emotions, from fear and uncertainty to a profound sense of resignation. Determined to confront his illness with dignity and courage, Steve initially confided in his longtime friend and former co-star, Alison Arngrim, about his condition. In a heartbreaking twist of fate, Steve initially told Alison that he was battling cancer, a ruse intended to shield her from the harsh reality of his diagnosis. Despite his brave facade, Steve's inner turmoil and anguish were palpable as he grappled with the devastating implications of his illness. In a desperate bid to cling to hope, Steve even feigned undergoing chemotherapy, clinging to the belief that there might be a chance for recovery. However, in the tumultuous era when Steve Tracy received his AIDS diagnosis, the disease casts a shadow of fear and uncertainty, unlike anything seen before. Unlike today, where advancements in medical science have led to effective drug cocktails that can suppress the virus, there existed no such solution at the time. AIDS was a ruthless and merciless foe, with an average life expectancy of a mere nine months following diagnosis. Despite the grim prognosis looming over him, Steve faced his diagnosis with remarkable courage and resilience. In the midst of his own personal turmoil, he shielded those around him from the full weight of his burden, refusing to let fear and despair consume him. Even as he grappled with the harsh reality of his illness, Steve maintained a stoic facade, determined to confront his fate with dignity and grace. In a poignant moment of vulnerability, Steve confided in his dear friend and former co-star, Alison Arngrim, about the true nature of his condition. The revelation that he was battling AIDS instead of cancer, as he had initially claimed, underscored the immense weight of the stigma and fear surrounding the illness at the time. Despite his hesitancy to admit the truth, Steve found solace in Allison's unwavering support and understanding, knowing that she would stand by his side through thick and thin. Allison, deeply moved by Steve's courage and resilience in the face of adversity, became a steadfast companion and source of comfort during his final year. Together they shared moments of laughter and joy, creating cherished memories that served as a respite from the harsh realities of Steve's illness. Despite the looming specter of mortality, Steve refused to let his spirit be dimmed, embracing each day with unwavering determination and a zest for life. Throughout his final year, Steve's unwavering courage and strength never wavered, even as the ravages of AIDS took their toll on his body. Despite the immensey challenges he faced, he never once shed a tear, choosing instead to confront his fate with a sense of quiet dignity and acceptance. In the wake of Steve Tracy's passing on November 27, 1986, his dear friend and former co-star Alison Arngrim found herself grappling with a profound sense of loss and grief. However, amidst the sorrow, Alison's admiration and respect for Steve only grew stronger. As she bore witness to his unwavering courage and resilience in the face of unimaginable adversity, 
Inspired by Steve's indomitable spirit and unwavering commitment to raising awareness about AIDS, Allison embarked on a transformative journey of her own, dedicated to continuing his legacy of compassion and advocacy. Drawing upon her own experiences and insights gained from her time spent with Steve during his final year, Allison made the courageous decision to become actively involved with the AIDS Project Los Angeles. Through her volunteer work with the AIDS Project Los Angeles, Allison found a renewed sense of purpose and fulfillment, channeling her grief into action and making a tangible difference in the lives of those affected by the illness. Her tireless dedication and unwavering commitment to the cause earned her widespread admiration and respect within the AIDS community as she worked tirelessly to provide support, resources, and advocacy for individuals living with AIDS. In the years following Steve's passing, Allison's philanthropic efforts extended beyond Los Angeles as she volunteered with several other AIDS organizations around the country. Her unwavering commitment to fighting tirelessly for those suffering from the illness served as a powerful testament to her enduring friendship with Steve and her steadfast belief in the importance of making a difference in the world. It was during her volunteer work with one such organization that Allison met her future husband, a serendipitous connection forged amidst the shared mission of compassion and advocacy. Their bond, rooted in a shared commitment to making a difference, blossomed into a deep and enduring partnership, marking a new chapter of love and companionship in Allison's life. As Allison reflected on her journée along C. de Steve, she couldn't help but marvel at his extraordinary strength and resilience in the face of extreme pain and suffering. His unwavering determination to confront his illness with dignity and grace served as a source of inspiration for Allison, prompting her to question her own strength and resilience in the face of adversity. Steve Tracy's untimely passing at the age of 34 sent shockwaves through both the entertainment industry and society at large. As one of the first notable actors to succumb to the AIDS virus, Steve's death served as a sobering reminder of the devastating impact of the disease during its early days. His passing, following closely on the heels of Rock Hudson's in 1985, brought heightened awareness to the AIDS epidemic and sparked conversations about the urgent need for research, treatment, and support for those affected. In the years that followed Steve's death, AIDS continued to ravage communities around the world, claiming countless lives and leaving behind a legacy of loss and grief. However, amidst the darkness, there emerged stories of resilience, hope, and progress. Celebrities like Magic Johnson and Charlie Sheen publicly disclosed their HIV-positive status, challenging the stigma and misconceptions surrounding the disease and inspiring others to seek treatment and support. As society's understanding of AIDS evolved and medical advancements transformed the landscape of treatment and care, Steve Tracy's legacy endured as a poignant reminder of the early days of the epidemic. Though he may not have been one of the biggest stars of his time, Steve's bravery in the face of adversity left an indelible mark on the hearts of those who knew him and those who were touched by his story. Today, as individuals living with AIDS lead fulfilling and productive lives thanks to advancements in treatment and support, there exists a sense of gratitude and reverence for trailblazers like Steve Tracy, who bravely navigated uncharted territory in the fight against the disease. What do you think about Steve's death and his impact on Little House on the Prairie? Leave us your comments in the section below. We hope you have found this helpful video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.